Stage is set. Guerra's been unstoppable, but Schiffen doesn't back down. Your thoughts, Pauly? Well, you know what? Let's see how it starts out. Both of these guys, I think, are going to come out pretty tactical. You know, Guerra's a very technical fighter. And Schiffen's also, you know, he's, he's not, he doesn't just come oh, reckless. Ready. He looks to fight tactically yeah, as well. So ready? I think it's going to be the opposite of the start we had last fight between uh, Mitchell and uh, uh, Townsell. And as you can see right away, very technical opening. We'll see how long that lasts, of course. I agree with you, though, Paulie. I think Guerra does have some of the most precise boxing in all of BYB. And, you know, what you're going to see also here, Todd, is his, his weight transfer. He really manages that kill zone very, very well. He knows how to create punching angles, and that's his Muay Thai experience. But the key for him is going to be to go ahead and bend those knees, and he's doing it. Don't be so upright. And body, body shots by Chiffins, follows in. And Chiffins tries to be technical here. He's got to be careful. He's got to use some feints or something because he's trying to take his time, but then he's kind of unsure of what he's doing. He's getting on the front foot with that jab, which is, I, don't, I think, a no-no because it's going to set you up and walk you into a counter if you're not careful. But also, he's not really setting up off the, off the outside. He's looking to reach in. He's got to be careful. There he's looking to touch now, and there he's again with a little bit of a lunge in. He's got to be careful walking into a counter. His getter seems a little more composed here. And, you know, Bali, you know, the, these fighters for this fight had the option whether to wear the gloves or not wear the gloves. And, of course, what happens is in your, in your uh, hand and in your wrist, you have those small bones. And usually that's what the taping that. So he chose just to go ahead and tape it up and not wear the gloves. Yeah, and, what, and for the viewers at home, what we're talking about with gloves is the, the, the knuckles are still bare. Right. It's just uh, the support for the wrist. That's why they have the gloves. The, the gloves get cut off at the knuckle, and the knuckle is still bare. A little one-two combination by Chiffins, who does seem more comfortable a little less frenetic thus far this time out. He's got his hands a little bit low than I, lower than I like to have mine, but, I mean, he should bring those things up. And then, you know, within that strike zone, Paulie, so when he comes in there, he doesn't come in so square. He's reaching for that right hand to the stomach several different times. And Guerra hasn't gotten the, the hang of it yet. Guerra has, has blocked it, but he's not been able to react off it. It's now Guerra starting to lead a little bit more. You mentioned with those low hands, Paulie, last time out, you said he almost has that old-school bare knuckle. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, looking like the uh, the, uh, the fighting Irish yeah, mascot yeah. there. Yeah, he's got a, a style all his own. Guerra tried to turn south a few seconds ago. He got hit with a straight right hand, and that turned him back around into the orthodox stance. Oh. Guerra... Throwing a combination there. Cool, calm, and collected. Guerra has got ice water running through his veins. He mentioned he doesn't care who his opponent is. He's going to go out there and do his job. Just another fight. I'm already noticing a mouse over the right eye of Guerra. Boy, that's something he cannot afford, especially if he's got another fight in January. Yeah, Guerra's going to be representing BYB, that partnership with BKB in the U.K. He's going to travel over there and represent this company, fight over there in London, England. That coming up January 22nd. So, yeah, you don't want to eat a lot of damage here. And, you know, Paulie, right now it seems like Schiffen... Oh, big, big combination there by Guerra. Playtime might be over here for Diamante with 10 seconds to go now in the first round. Coming on strong. And I think, I think that won him the round. Oh, look at that double spin. Look at that. What a move that was. Oh, my goodness. Back to highlight reel. Say wow. good night. Wow. Serious style points for Diamante after, after out of the spin move. A beautiful knockout there. And hold on here. No. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's going to do a stoppage. Wow. <laughs> I tell you, you can't do a spin punch like you can in MMA, but you can spun punch and then come with the hook. I've seen Luis Palomino also do that in bare knuckle fighting. Carlos Guerra does it here. Insane. There's that signature backflip. You know, I almost got overzealous like Goldie did the one time and called it before it was over, but it ended up, I mean, Schiffen's so tough, tried to get back up, just couldn't. I, 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 question now with the cut here is he going to be able to fight in a couple weeks he's got a Muay Thai fight in a, couple, in a few weeks and then he's supposed to go to England at the end of January for the other bare knuckle fight at BKB in England is he going to be able to do it with the cut over his eyes yeah. you can't say Guerra uh, you know isn't active that's for sure we will see I thought Robert Wambacher the referee did a great job because you, you can notice that even when he got up he was already wobbly and again I always say better to stop it early than late he worked his way into the round so well I, I, I I was going to give Chiffins the round, and then yeah. at the end of the round, you get that nice combination that started with a few body shots, and he brought it up to the head with a good combination, and that kind of got Chiffins a little bit defensive, and before Chiffins could even settle in, back in at taking that combination, the ensuing combination comes from that spinning momentum that started everything. Insane. I, mean, I can't wait to see the replay. It's almost like that fuse 
hit right when the you know the mallet hit for the 10 seconds and then just turned on the gas did diamante guerra how what do you make of that spin move that then led to the combination did he just catch chiffins off i mean the that? spin move you can't throw the the spin punch yeah. off it right but you're allowed to use the spin to gain your momentum for the hook like i said i've seen luis palomino do it as well as well and and it has worked for him too i i hadn't seen anybody else try it get not only did it but the ensuing combination he was able to work off of that spin end of the fight and you know just when I said you, you're seeing the Jeffins is easy you get easy to hit because he was coming in square shoulder and sure enough that's when he come in with that combination yeah. and then got him with that but uh, Jeffins was fighting a great fight up to then yeah and I tell you Benny I, I think he was still recovering from the combination he just taken he was still trying to settle back in because Geta had gotten off a very nice combination just before that incredible then hit the signature backflip for even more style points as we're going to head back into the trigon to make it all official unbelievable guys just what a knockout oh we're going to take a uh, one second ladies ladies and gentlemen referee bobby wambacher calls a stop to this contest at two minutes 59 seconds of the very first round declaring your winner by t